everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a lenovo gaming legion 5 laptop here and in this video i'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or upgrade or including removing your ram this is very easy and forward to do i mean a really short video how to check your ram capacity i'll leave that link in the video description in case you need to find yours all right in this case we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and upgrade the ram First thing first, you want to power up the laptop completely. I'll grab a worktop towel so I don't scratch the bottom. Make sure you power it up. Don't put any hibernation or anything like that. Flip it upside down. And at the bottom here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There is no hidden screws. There's a your screws in the front end and side and four at the back. You're gonna grab yourself the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. From this tool set, we are going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, we're going to start removing all the screws and keep the screws in a separate pile so you don't mismatch with any other screws from uh, short ones. All right, I'm going to start from one corner. I'm going to remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. All the screws from the mid to the back side, they are the same size. And the front row, these are the short screws. So keep the short screws in a separate pile. And the long screws in another pile, so you don't mix them. If you put a long screw in a short place, it's going to create a bump on the other side. All right, now that we remove all the screws, all you want to do is to open up the laptop a little bit, but you know what I mean? Flip it this way up. You want to open and grab yourself the guitar pick, and you want to stick right, jam it right between the case, bottom case right there, about one or two millimeters, and it's, you just want to peel it up like that. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm not sticking the whole thing. You want to do this, the whole thing in the front row. Just work it around. Go like this. And once you did the front, pretty much, what you want to do, you want to grab it from the corners, lift it up, wiggle it around a little bit, up and down, and it's going to release the rest of the clips on the bottom. Those are tiny clips that they get loose. All right, down here, we're gonna see the whole battery, the big battery and the RAMs are under this shield here. You have two options. If you're really careful, you don't need to disconnect the battery. You can lift up this metal cover up, but if you're really flimsy, you can disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward towards the battery straight. Make sure you always put it back so you can put your fingers at the side of the jack and pull it back gently. And the battery should get disconnected very easy, just like that. Once you have disconnected the battery, you can simply grab this metal cover and lift it up, bring it upward. There's a tiny clip that holds it from here. Those are the clips on the motherboard. Once you bring it up, this one is already been upgraded. All right, now you can see the RAM right over here, the new RAM. To remove the RAM, all you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of the triggers and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All right. To remove the RAM, you want to slide it backward. You don't want to yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to crack the them or the RAM. You just want to slide it back and the RAM will come out. So there's an 8 gig right in here and we have another 16 gig. You can put a 16 gig and 16 gig, which will work fine. These are a DDR5 RAM. I'll leave the link for a compatible RAM in the video description. When you want to put the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. Right over there. If you try to put it the other way around, the RAM simply won't go in. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle, straight inside the jack. Once you feel the pins are inside, you simply want to push it towards the motherboard, and you want to you're gonna see these two triggers open and close, make a soft click, just like that. All right? To remove this other one, same thing. Pull it away and slide it backward. Goes in 45 degree towards the motherboard, and that's it. Now you see these clippers right in here they have to match and align toward this metal sheet right in here. So align the metal sheet right over, and you want to push it down straight, and it's supposed to grab it from here. Once you have that one in there, all you want to do, grab the battery, make sure always evenly push the jack inside the connector. Align it, and 
has to go in evenly inside the jack. And there we have it. All right, once the battery is connected, all you want to do, you want to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push it down, push the corners, make sure you hear those nice click sounds, press on the side, in the middle there's a tiny clip, and that's it. If you see any gap opening, you can just pinch them together and it will go to its place. And to finish it up, all you want to do is just put the longest screws from the side towards the back and the short screws on the front end of the laptop. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish it up putting up the bottom screws.